Hello and welcome! Today I'm gonna show you a birthday card that I made for a 16 year old boy. Uh, it looks like this. It was really easy to make and it has this kind of, what's it called, skull theme. And it says 16 on the top there and it has some rhinestones here and uh, you open it up like this. It says gratis Kika 16 and there's some pattern paper, well not, not, not pattern paper, well the skull paper is patterned and the other one is just the the black stripe and same thing here um, school paper and zigzag paper and uh, it was really easy to make and I started out with an A5 card uh, scored in half or was it an A6 I'm not sure but the paper that I used, the pattern paper is that one and this is called decorative paper from the Tiger shop I think Tiger is in Denmark I'm not sure, yes I think Denmark is Tiger so they are Danish papers and I used the school paper and I cut it out to fit the front and I glued it on with double sided tape then I took some black paper and I used Fiskars scissors these are kids source, kid source. Uh, and this is a hedgehog and it has that kind of pattern so I cut out, I think these are meant for, it doesn't matter if you're left handed or right handed they are meant for children but I find them kinda okay since they are Fiskars they are really good quality so I use them now and then and these are the, the hedgehog ones, I think that's a hedgehog if the camera would focus on it yeah can you see that little hedgehog or I don't know why it has spots on it but I think it's a hedgehog anyway you get that kind of pa uh, pattern so I cut out with this black paper here and glue it on with double sided tape then I took a silver piece of ribbon is it a bow or a ribbon? You make a bow out of a ribbon, yes. So it was a silver piece of ribbon that I just glued here with double sided tape. And then I took this black, I really like this one. I have used a lot of them. Sorry if you hear some noises. It's really hot here in the apartment. So I have my doors open so you can hear sound from the street. Uh, anyway, I really used a lot of them because I like them a lot. They are small black rhinestones with glue on them. If they we didn't have glue you could use glossy accents to make them uh, stick. But they already had glue on themselves. So I just put them here like that. Um, this is just a sticker with a oval shape on top of it that I cut out with oval cutter because underneath it says Kitos and Kitos means thank you and I don't want that to show so I cut out this small oval and that 16 is black oh there the color is really weird when I get close and that's actually just golden numbers that I used and I had a black marker to make them black uh, silver would have also fitted but I thought maybe just black this time it looks a little bit nicer when it's just a black and white theme so I just drew on or what is it called painted on with this black permanent marker and that's how I got the black 16 on the inside the leftover paper from the school paper when I cut it out for this card I glued here and here you can also see the the Da, 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 what's it called now? Hedgehog scissor pattern just on one side of the paper. Here I had it on both that side and that side but here I only had on one side just a little strip of it and same here just a little strip of it and then I just drew gratis kicker means congratulations and I just freehand let it drew and make some shadings. Not perfect but just something for a 16 year old that is not so boring and here comes the greetings and um, you could have used a money punch here if you're going to give money. My dad was one week in Greece with this boy's family, so he already there celebrated the birthday and gave money. So this time we will only give a card that says congratulations. But uh, you could certainly make a money punch here or a gift card punch and put your gift inside. 
but that's the card that I made this time. It was really easy, fast, and kind of, it's really boyish. Well, it could be a girl. If you change this black stripe, maybe a, a purple one or a fuchsia one, then it would be more girlish. But like this, I think it's pretty boyish. So that's the card that I wanted to show you this time. And if you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.